Hi guys, welcome back to another codingbat.com tutorial. So today we're going to be doing string 2 exercise make string in Java. Okay, so let's read the question. Um, given two strings A and B, create a bigger string made of the first character of A, the first character of B, the second character of A, the second character of B, and so on. Any leftover characters go at the end of the result. Okay, so I tried to simplify what we have to do for this problem. So we have to first figure out which string is smaller in length. And using a loop, we have to create variables that hold the next character for both strings. And then we have to return a variable that has the alternating characters as well as the remaining characters in both strings. Okay, so if we think about it, we have to use a loop to get values of A and B in the same index until the shorter string runs out. So we have to find the shorter string first. Okay, so let's create the variable min. And using the math.min, we're going to find the shorter string length. And we also need to have a counting variable. And we also should have a total variable to hold all of the first character, second character of A and B. Okay, so now let's work on using a loop. For this one, I'm going to be using the while loop. So while x, our counting variable, is less than the minimum length of our string. We're going to be retrieving the characters on an increasing index until we reach the length of the min. So x will be keeping track of the index to be used to get the alternating a and b characters. Okay, so let's create a substring for string a and string b. Yeah, name it a sub. And so these a sub and b sub are going to be holding the characters for the first, second, third, fourth, whatever the length of string a or string b is. And remember, we also have to update our total. And total is going to be equally total plus a sub plus b sub. And remember, since x keeps track of our index, we have to increase Now, let's return total, but remember we don't just return total, we have to, like mentioned in the question, add the leftover characters at the end of the result. So, we're going to be using the substring method, plus, okay, and the reason why we're using x is because x represents the last index that was used from both strings in the alternating process. And remember, in this while loop, we stopped once the shorter string ran out. So the remaining string should be remained in x. Okay. And we got it. 